Hello viewers and welcome to our channel, Consumer Zone. In this video, we picked only the best 5 affordable telescope. By comparing hundreds of products based on a few criteria and ranked them. For example, features of the product, manufacturer's reputation, value for money, and most importantly, user feedback. If you choose from this list, you can be rest assured that you are buying the best product. Please do check the product link in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to enjoy more awesome content like this. So without any delay let's get. Number 5. Carson RP300 Red Planet Reflector Telescope. The RP300 Red Planet Telescope is Newtonian on an EQ mount. So, there you have it, you can buy telescopes with EQ mounts at an inexpensive price point. What should you expect with the Carson Telescope? A whole lot of good seeing. The RP300 has exposed optics because it's a Newtonian and collimation will be required when you use it, so get comfortable with the procedure. You have an entry-level 4.5 size for a Newtonian which allows you to get scanning deep space for galaxies and nebulae. It has an f-8, approximate, focal ratio, so it's right within the realm of providing good, all-purpose viewing. There are faster Newtonians for a wider field of view, but the slightly longer focal length may be a blessing in disguise. I highly suspect it has a spherical primary mirror, so this should be minimized thanks to the medium speed. The EQ mount allows you to keep objects within your field of view and requires a learning process, but it's worth it if you want to track stars. It's a light-duty mount with a good tripod, but it won't hold heavy loads without compromising the setup. It's sort of a moot point since it's not really an astrophotography scope, and it takes lighter weight 1.25 accessories anyway. Eyepieces may need an upgrade if you want planetary views, but it's not really set up to be a planetary telescope from the start. With that in mind, you may very well find the included accessories satisfactory. As an entry-level telescope with EQ movement to do a little more tracking in the sky, the Carson Red Planet Scope is a welcome addition to the market. Number 4. Celestron Astromaster 70AZ Telescope As a very affordable telescope on the budget end of the spectrum, you should know a thing or two about it before you buy. Here's the sweet and sour about the Astromaster 70AZ telescope. The Astromaster 70 optical tube is priced as low as you want to go before you risk further compromise on quality. As you can guess, the real quality comes from the optical tube, and less with the mount, and this may be a major compromise. The OTA has a closed tube since it's a refractor and this is a great selling point for beginners. It's a slow telescope, and we can tell this by its f-13 focal ratio. Unfortunately, resolving power at high magnification will be difficult to achieve since it has a small aperture of 70 mm. So, the best planetary views will be achieved with low-medium power instead of high magnification. The mount has some odd design torques that limits its usefulness. It's a functioning mount and tripod for visual use, but you'll be out of luck when asking for more versatility and performance above its basic functions. The Celestron Telescope comes with all the accessories. They're not the best out there, but they do work well with the setup. This is a noteworthy feature as most included accessories are useless. This scope isn't perfect, but it functions and provides good performance for its price point. When you're looking to spend as little as possible, there will be compromises, but there are good options out there like the Astromaster. Number 3. Orion SkyQuest XT 4.5 Dobson Ian Telescope. The SkyQuest is a 4.5 Dobson Ian. It's small enough to be placed on a table if you want, but it's also large enough to be placed directly on the ground. The entire setup weighs less than 20 pounds, so it's not a bad setup for travel. What about the optics? Let's zoom in. As a Newtonian on a Dobsonian-style base, it's easy to move about. With the larger size, the mechanical upgrades will be appreciated. A carry handle for easy, one-handed transportation has been put into the design, 
and Orion's correct tension friction optimization system improves secure attachment of the tube to the rest of the assembly. No need to disassemble for travel. You may still need to collimate it, and it's great to see that you can. Orion even includes a collimation cap to make it fast and easy to get it done. Inners, you'll learn how to perform this essential procedure. The OTA houses a 4.5 spherical primary mirror with a medium F-8 focal speed. While a spherical mirror would normally ruin a fast Newtonian's viewing quality, the SkyQuest has a slightly longer and thus more forgiving focal ratio. Spherical aberration should not be concerning. The SkyQuest offers a few good accessories out of the box, and this may help to make up for any doubts. With a good, all-round optical speed, you can seek out DSOs, home in on the moon, and spot planets. How to sum up the Orion 4.5 Dobson Ian? Entry-level price, upgraded quality, and great optical performance. Number 2. Meet Infinity 102 AZ Astronomy Telescope. This Infinity AZ telescope has a large 102 mm aperture. That's pretty large for a refractor and is reasonably suited to its price point. So, what's the deal with the Infinity? Let's find out. This telescope is an achromatic refractor, it has two elements that make up the objective lens. This is a good thing to see since one of those elements should help with chromatic aberration CA correction. But don't get your expectations too high as there is still some color fringing and mediocre accessories will exaggerate the effect. The 102mm-4 aperture is plenty big enough to start earning some experience in DSO observation. With a fast focal ratio of f-6, you'll be able to achieve a good field of view to catch some of the larger deep space objects. What's the deal with the mount? The good, it's a simple AZ mount with slow motion controls for fine adjustments to the telescope's aim on an object. The bad, it's too light duty to do anything serious with it. However, for visual use, it'll work fine for casual observations. You can get into instant terrestrial observation since MEAT includes an erect image diagonal. To dispel any disillusions about portability, it weighs a light 12 pounds, approximate, but has a long tube of 34. Not bad, but if you plan on flying the skies the length will be something to think about. All in all, the Infinity 102 is a good starter scope at a decent price considering the extra perks versus the drawbacks. Number 1. Orion Starblast 4.5 Astro Reflector Telescope The Starblast 4.5 Astro is the perfect example of how you can get more aperture for your buck versus a refractor. With an extra inch or two on this reflector, you can set your sights on those elusive DSOs. Plus, the Starblast has a 4.5 aperture with a fast focal ratio of f-4. Immediately, this is a telescope that is good for wide fields of view with excellent low to medium power performance. Great for DSOs and examining the moon. What the extra hundred bucks get you in this tabletop Newtonian is optical quality. Due to its fast specs, it must have a parabolic mirror and a parabolic primary mirror it has. This is essential for clarity and sharpness. Since it's an inexpensive option, it would be nice to have a collimatable primary mirror and a collimatable primary mirror it has. It comes with an alt azimuth mount with a wood base. Usually, these setups are heavy, but since it's a tabletop design with a smallish aperture for a Newtonian, it's very lightweight and an extremely portable telescope. One downside is that the base cannot be mounted to a tripod, so it must be placed atop a flat and solid surface like a table. What decreases value slightly are the included eyepieces. They're not well suited for this setup. You will need to put aside some of the budget to get quality replacements. But, if you're all about quality in the tube and mount, the Orion telescope delivers. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this unbiased review. And please don't forget to subscribe us to get the news of upcoming reviews. Stay tuned. Fuck her, you know.